ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for Below Grade Level. Let's talk about our crushes and have some fun. Hello and welcome to Below Grade Level, the show where we take the books that we read as kids and read them as adults and ruin them. Um, I am one of your hosts, Jonathan Eaton, and with me as always is Becca Eaton. Hi. And Chris Zaleski. Hello. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Today, whenever someone might be listening to this. Good. 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 I don't know if I'll be good then, but right now. <sighs> That's true. I'm, I'm a bit know. distracted. <clears throat> mm-hmm. By what? By my own face on the Zoom call because my beard's in like a weird like Jason mm. and the Argonauts stage. Where it just looks very, very wavy. Greek, yeah. Like very Greek. Like yeah. Greek statuey. Go fight like some Pos- like, like Poseidon. I'm distracted by how statuesque I look. Yeah. Don't mind me. <clears throat> All right, it's, and we... <laughs> oh, who's that coughing? What a great segue. With us tonight. Hey. <laughs> uh, our special guest on this episode is uh, returning champ, Alex Hayes. Hello, Alex. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Alex, I have a super duper special treat for you. Oh, goody. Let's hear it. Uh, the, the treat for you, and something that I want to, I think we should start doing on the show, mm-hmm. is that when we start a book, and you're going to start a book with us, we're Ooh. going to let the guest decide what we're going to read. Ooh, so it's uh, it's going to be uh, uh, my choice tonight? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've got some options, and you get to pick. Okay. Excellent. And there's no wrong choice. But so there is a more right choice. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember the choices. <laughs> I don't either, but I think I oh, I know what Chris always wants to read. It's the thing that is he it, always wants oh, to read. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Okay, so your your options are... Uh, are you going to describe them or just like the title and the... Uh, well, I can do like a kind of a loose description. Okay. So your your choices are either the book Die Softly... By Christopher Pike, uh, Sweet Valley High number three, which I think is called "Playing with Fire," Woo. and and let's just say an absolutely random Animorphs book. <laughs> did you pick it at random, or did you look? I looked and I was like, I can't choose any of these, so it's gonna be totally, totally fucking dice roll random. So right. about that, or we, is the Bruce Coville not? Yeah, we'll do there. that next time. Okay, as a, as a choice next time. Okay. So so to <clears throat> recap, your choices are uh, a Christopher Pike book, which is kind of like teenage um, thriller. Like there's usually some sort of mystery and murder involved, and like some sex. Um, Sweet Valley High. It's like a it's like a yep. step above Fear Street because yeah. Fear Street was actually pretty tame. It was very tame. So yeah. it's like young adult, but like verging on being too adult for young adults. Yeah, like they talk about fucking like a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, and then Sweet Valley High, uh, we've done a couple of those, and those are incredible. The, those are the Wakefield twins' uh, bitter rivalry <laughs> is what I'm gonna call it. One of them is pure evil, and one of them is normal. And it's just them <laughs> going through high school. One of them is like a straight up actual sociopath. Right, it's insane. Okay. And then uh, Animorphs is body horror, but for kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, but okay. disturbing enough I... to make my skin crawl yeah. for a long time. All right. Um, seeing as I have very, very few criteria to go on that. that uh, um... Follow your heart. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and make Chris happy and go with uh, Sweet Valley High. Aww. Sweet Valley High. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. You don't so, fuck with the SVU. I'm a little disappointed from the Christopher Pike research I did today, but that's okay. We okay. have to read them eventually. Yes, we will. Um, and I'll take. I'll uh, the next time we have someone decide, I'll take Sweet Valley High off the list. Okay, off, yeah. off the Boo. <laughs> we can't do two in a There's row. 136 books. We can do whatever Christ. we want. It's our show. There's we, there's no one telling us we can't. <laughs> and these are only three dollars, so I'm just buying the Kindle. Oh, great. <laughs> Ew! It looks like they were gonna kiss in the other one. Who? The Wakefields? Yeah. Gross. All right. Well, let's jump into fucking. Sweet Valley High number three, playing with fire. I can't wait to find out what happens. Um, <clears throat> so, bef- like like before with the Kindle stuff, 
we'll just read, like, e- each one of these screens is a page. Okay. So I'll read this whole thing, and then you'll read the next whole thing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Chapter one. Oh, I don't remember fucking any of the voices we did, so we'll just do stuff. Do you... Do you- yeah, Do you what's up? keep your notes anywhere that you can reference, like from previous books? <laughs> yeah, there's always runs a fresh on chaos. sheet of paper. There... <laughs> yeah, I believe that, but there's always a fresh sheet of paper, and yeah. I have never questioned where the other sheets of paper go. They go in that cubby, and I keep all of them as like he eats batteries. them so he doesn't forget. <laughs> <clears throat> it's true, so I can gain knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it isn't her royal highness herself. Todd Wilkins gently nudged Elizabeth Wakefield's shoulder and pointed toward the entrance to the school gymnasium. Elizabeth, the good one, peered into the crowd that had already assembled for the Sweet Valley High dance contest. Oh, boy. Nice. She sighed with relief when she spotted the person Todd was talking about, her twin sister, Jessica. She sighed with relief? A.K.A. the Joker. (laughs) (laughs) With the contest only minutes away... Ooh, we're getting right into it. Oh, Elizabeth wow. had begun to worry about Jessica, oh. even though it wasn't the first time her twin had shown up late to an important event. Mm. Casting a concerned look back in her boyfriend's direction, Elizabeth murmured, I wonder where Jessica was all that time. Hey. Are, are we picking up from something <clears throat> that I forgot about? Not that I remember. Okay. Really, Liz? It's, it's the cold open. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a, like, like three weeks three, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really, Liz? Todd shook his head in mock exasperation. (laughs) You know Jessica always waits until everyone's gathered to make her grand entrance. You're exaggerating, Todd, Elizabeth replied defensively, although silently she admitted there was some truth to Todd's words. Jessica had always said that a party never really started until she got there. What is she, Kesha? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Uh, Waking up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. (laughs) <laughs> and this occasion appeared to be the perfect time to prove her point. Already, a small crowd had begun to form around the popular blonde. Anyway, so what if Jess likes to shine in the spotlight, Elizabeth added. She was elected fall queen, you know, and royalties entitled to certain privileges. Besides, she's not hurting anyone, is she? Yet. No, except, except ma- all of us psychologically. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <stop> <laughs> no, except maybe the king. Todd noted pointedly. About six paces behind Jessica stood Winston Egbert. Oh, <laughs> hey, I forgot. <laughs> and we are picking up from something. <clears throat> yeah. Sweet Valley High's fall king and Jessica's date for the evening. Elizabeth would have liked to say something to explain away her sister's lack of concern for Winston, but she held mm. her tongue, refusing to get into yet another fight over Jessica. Go put those Sorry. shoes away. Yeah, one second. I gotta discipline a cat. Just put the shoes away. Put them in the closet. Oh, it'll be right Is that like slang for something them. dirty? Uh, yes. We're gonna go do something dirty right now during the podcast. Well, no. Him Her- by himself. <laughs> Probably. Go put your I shoes have to go discipline a cat. <laughs> Ew. Hell yeah. Her twin was the only <laughs> sore spot in Elizabeth's relationship with Todd. He still hadn't forgiven Jessica for the time she'd made him think Elizabeth wasn't interested in him, and Elizabeth saw no point in making the situation worse. Didn't he? <coughs> didn't she also lie and say that Todd had assaulted her? Uh, hey. Because uh, I, I wouldn't be so, so quick to forgive that either if I was yeah, Todd. Yeah, that was the first book where she lied about being date raped. Yeah. But she lied about Todd assaulting her and, like, being pushy and shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, she didn't ramp up her evil. She was just immediately evil. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, Elizabeth was well aware just how unthrilled Jessica was at having to spend the evening with Winston, for Elizabeth had spent the better part of her afternoon listening to her sister moan and groan about it. According to school tradition, the fall queen was supposed to accompany the king to certain school-sponsored activities during the semester. There was no way Jessica could get out of it, short of giving up her crown and all the glory that went with it. It wasn't that she didn't like Winston. She'd carefully explained to her twin sister, who at Sweet Valley didn't. He was always smiling, always joking, something of a class clown, yet in his own way one of the more interesting boys in school. Was he? What? <laughs> it was, it based, it was, based on what? <laughs> yeah. His name is Winston Egbert. 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 Like you yeah. just you pick you picture like 
the 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 energy vampire from what we do in the shadows. <laughs> wow, well, yeah. And I do. Re- Winston's the only voice I remember, and it's like, <laughs> I'm Winston. Well, Ing- hey. I'm, I'm picturing the nerd whose name I don't remember from Daria, the guy with the curly red hair and the freckles. <laughs> oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if his name was yeah. Winston. Egbert. <laughs> it was who he wasn't that bothered Jessica. He wasn't Bruce Patman, the boy she longed to be with, the boy she'd hoped to snag when she schemed to be elected queen. The fact that Bruce still eluded her was a constant source of torment to Jessica. She always got what she wanted, and she hadn't yet met a boy who could resist her for very long. She desperately hoped Bruce wasn't turning out to be the exception. Jessica was getting impatient. She'd been secretly in love with Bruce for years. He was good-looking and charming, and his family was one of the most, most prominent and richest in Sweet Valley, which made him even more attractive to her. But Jessica's frustration had begun to mount almost immediately as she'd watched him go after nearly every girl in the A-list at school. Every girl, it seemed, but her. Jessica was already chatting away with Kara Walker and a few other of her Pi Beta Alpha sorority sisters by the time Winston reached her side. That's a lot of words to read. There was a look of admiration on his face. Dressed in a bright blue, skin-hugging mini dress and matching tights, Winston, Winston. was an eye-catching <laughs> sight. <laughs> oh, you made the same joke I wanted to. The outfit accented his long, shapely legs and brought out the blue in his sparkling aquamarine eyes. Across the room, Elizabeth in her stylish but more casual wheat-colored pants and tan striped shirt, wheat? and oh, also eyed wheat. her twin <laughs> with admiration. Blessed with the same all-American blonde good looks, the, the sisters appeared as alike as identical twins possibly could. You know, because they're fucking identical. You don't have to elaborate <laughs> yeah. on that. But Elizabeth sometimes envied what she it's, felt was her sister's more dramatic flair. It's almost like they weren't fraternal twins. <laughs> almost the floor, like they're fucking identical. <laughs> the floor of the gym was dotted with couples keeping pace with the rhythmic beat of the droids, whose frenetic tempo and catchy original tunes made them Sweet Valley High's most popular band. So there's multiple <laughs> bands at this school. <laughs> Dana Larson, the group's lead singer. <laughs> Hold on. Dana Larson, the group's lead singer, was in the middle of their latest song, <laughs> I Found Paradise. <laughs> the lyrics told how her Eden would be complete only when she found the right boy to share it with. Eden was definitely code for her vagina. <laughs> Alex? Oh, no. Oh, no. You yeah, know, keep thing. going. Oh, shit. This whole thing's a page, <clears throat> I'm Chris. Dumb. Elizabeth mused that as with as many guys as there were hooked on Dana's mini-skirted figure, exotically styled short blonde hair, and tantalizing voice, the singer would have no trouble making that wish come true. She hey, Todd, hot. do you know who that guy is? Elizabeth asked. She pointed to a tall, lanky man in his early 20s standing at the back of the gym near the bleachers. He was dressed in red leather pants okay. with a matching um, skinny tie knotted loosely over um, his white shirt. He was staring intently at the stage and seemed absorbed in the music. I should be on that stage, he thought. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I remember Todd's voice. No, I'm definitely Never somebody. saw him before. Because <laughs> I think Todd's Keanu Oh, yeah, Reeves. he's kind of Keanu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe Talking he's Miss back. Dalton's new boyfriend? I doubt it. Since we've been here, he hasn't been near. He's handsome enough for her, though. Todd grinned. I'm sure your reporter's instincts will sniff out the truth by the end of the evening. Come on, let's wish Jess... Page break. Good luck on the contest. She's gonna need it because she's in for some tough competition. (laughs) Oh, really? From whom? Elizabeth asked. Todd pointed to the ground. These feet were born to dance, and my partner's not exactly clumsy either. I heard somewhere that identical twins have identical talents. Nope. Gross. (laughs) (laughs) We're not identical. No, but it's still no. Clearly no. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Jessica and I aren't identical in every way. 
as you should certainly know. Oh, God damn it. Gross. <laughs> Elizabeth said... <laughs> I have a soul, uh, after all. Ah, Elizabeth said, airily, shrugging off Todd's challenge. Look, if we're going to see Jess, we'd better hurry. The contest will be starting any time now. Jessica lit up a wide... <clears throat> Jessica lit up in a wide smile at the, at the sight of her sister. Hi, Liz, she said, beaming. Having a good time? Don't I always, Elizabeth answered brightly. <laughs> she always, always tells me how to say it after I've said yeah. it. Yeah. Well, uh, you were doing your voice as Batman for a little while until Bruce Patman showed up. Well, yeah, we did our voices. And ruined everything. Well, that <laughs> ruined everything. And also, like... I think after the first book, we're like, this is unsustainable. Yeah. Like, one of our one of our main characters can't fucking sound like Batman. <laughs> no matter how much his name sounds like Batman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Having a good time? Don't I always? Elizabeth answered brightly. Then she turned to her sister's date. You ready for the... Co- <clears throat> um. Okay. You ready for the contest win? Are you kidding? He did a quick shuffle, nearly tripping over his gangly legs. After the night, we go Whoa. on to... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Cartoon character. Yes. Yeah, 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 whoa! <laughs> yeah, after the night, we go on to dance fever, right, Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, who had been scanning the room, snapped back into the conversation at the sound of her name. Uh, oh, sure, whatever you say, Wynn. Turning to Elizabeth and Todd, she added, By the way, you haven't seen Bruce Patman around, have you? As a matter of fact, yes, Todd replied. Over by the bleachers, surrounded by the usual horde of girls dying to get near him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing important. Jessica tossed her head <clears throat> as if to dismiss the subject, but her tone was a little too light to be totally believable. I just wanted to wish him good luck tonight. Elizabeth shot her sister sure a warning did. look. Sorry, what? Oh, no, no, I said sure you did. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Elizabeth shot her sister a warning look. How can she talk about Bruce with Wynn standing right next to her, she thought angrily. <laughs> Wynn. I fucking, hope he does. They're not dating. I know. Who fucking cares? <laughs> It's not a senator. They're like, like... homecoming king and queen. <laughs> they don't have power. They're not betrothed tell, to each tell other. Tell that to Jessica. Jesus. But we haven't yet written in a legit reason for anybody to be pissed at anybody, so it has to be this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're only on page four. It's, it's a book where a high school is sororities. Of course it matters. <laughs> I hope he doesn't upstage you, little sister, Elizabeth said, using the affectionate nickname she had long ago <laughs> given Jessica because she was four minutes older. Uh, affectionate in quotations. Yes. Oh, so is my that, bad. Is that my bad. Let me, let me backtrack because story? she was four minutes younger than Elizabeth was. Uh, oh, wait, oh, Jessica, oh wait. yeah. What? Wait. Oh, she's younger than Elizabeth, so she calls Elizabeth, and she's a giant bitch, so she calls Elizabeth little sis. <laughs> Get it? It's a wait. thing that twins do because one has to come out before oh, the other one. Oh wait, Elizabeth. Elizabeth said it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it, just because yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. It's it's bad. It's fine. That's her villain <laughs> it's origin. Really, it's a really bad sentence, but yes, yeah. it, Jessica is younger. Okay, okay. It was a very bad sentence. Okay, it's, it's where all of her hatred comes from. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I know how much winning this contest means to you. Oh. I'm not worried about that big sister, Jessica declared. Just remember what we talked about this afternoon. And don't blow it, okay, Lizzie? <laughs> I forgot. When my opponents are on the floor, drop the pig's blood on them. <laughs> <laughs> you still got that poison? <laughs> Elizabeth was saddened by the urgency she had heard in Jessica's Lizzie, voice. Lizzie, you forgot the hemlock. <laughs> 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 Earlier in the day, Jessica had practically begged her not to try to win the contest, but Elizabeth hadn't taken her seriously because, you know, fuck her. <laughs> Jessica simply never begged for anything, but now she could see that her sister meant every word. She'll really do anything to attract Bruce Patman's attention, Elizabeth suddenly realized. Glancing at Todd for a moment, she avoided Jessica's <laughs> stare, then replied non-committedly, <laughs> I'll remember and I'll see. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> I fucking hate you. The high-pitched voice of Robin Wilson cut <laughs> abruptly into their conversation. Jessica! What an impress- incredible dress! I love it! Where did you get it? I got to get one just like it! <laughs> 
a recent arrival to Sweet Valley. <laughs> Robin, thank God. Robin had quickly attached herself to Jessica. Robin had the unfortunate tendency to show up at the most inopportune times, such as this moment. Can we vote now that Robin Wilson just sounds like Robin Williams? I was also, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, well, it said high pitch, but yeah, yeah. I was also like, Robin Wilson. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Cool it, Robin. I get your point, Jessica said, giving the overweight girl one of her fake bright smiles. Oh, oh no. Jessica. While thinking the last thing in the world she'd want to be seen in the same outfit as Miss Tubby. Oh, oh. J- Jessica, you're a bitch. Oops, there's Lila. I've got to talk to her. Jessica quickly excused herself. Turning to Elizabeth, she added, I'll catch up with you later. You're going to, you're, you're going up to Ken's, aren't you? Wouldn't miss it for anything. Ken always throws the greatest parties. Ta-ta then. And with that, she ran off. Ho, oh, party. What party? Robin asked. Are you Robin Williams? <laughs> yeah. His name's Robin Wilson. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh. Running it's after it's Jessica as fast as her. Robin Williams. I'll give it to you. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, running after Jessica as fast as her plump legs would carry her. I'm going to go ahead and blame Francine Pascal for this one. Well. <laughs> uh, but Jessica was off like a frenetic butterfly to huddle with her friend Lila Fowler. She's probably getting tips on how to snare Bruce Patman, Elizabeth. Yeah, gotta work on their dance plan. They just keep throwing too many new random names at me. Oh, yeah, I know. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, Elizabeth thought worriedly, fearing that her sister's apparent single-mindedness might force her to do anything to get him, like the Riddler. <laughs> Lila had had a brief fling with the handsome, dark-haired senior some months earlier and considered herself an expert on him. <laughs> she knew Alex, his true identity. It's... Alex, just know that as an expert on the Sweet Valley universe, like with all the names coming and everything, it might be reassuring to you to know that... Uh, I fucking never remember them either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, every time we read one of these books, we're just like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just backtrack to expert on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're an expert expert on your ex-boyfriend, you probably would have kept your boyfriend. What? Oh, yeah. Well, there's a, a shrine made out of gum. <laughs> like I know Helga every Pataki. premise of his body. <laughs> the dance contest was about to begin. The droids had finished up their set, and as the lights dimmed, Roger Collins bounded on the stage. I don't know who the fuck that is. Looking as, handsome, looking as handsome as a rock star, but dressed conservatively in comfortable, well-worn cords and a sweater, the popular good-looking teacher... Oh, okay. Teacher. Positioned his lean frame behind the microphone. Okay, so we've got a hot teacher. I don't yeah. remember hearing about him before. <laughs> All right, Francine, half the page describing <laughs> Roger. Right. He clearly enjoyed his role as chaperone for the dance. Gross. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, he began grandly. Good evening, Mr. Collins. They all sing songed back at him in unison, affectionately mocking his master of ceremonies act. Smiling broadly, Mr. Collins continued, Welcome to Sweet Valley's fifth annual rock and dance party contest. You all having a good time tonight? Is anyone getting grease flashbacks or just me? <laughs> I know it's the fifth <laughs> it's the fifth annual. This is a this is a long held <laughs> tradition. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd answered with a roar. Great, he cried. You know the rules. But this is literally the scene from Grease. Oh God. What? It's the fifth annual rock and dance party contest. So they have to like do a good job for the TV. The band will play three songs while our con while our contestants dance. The judges will circulate around the floor, and after a short break, the winners will be announced. It is Grace, yeah. <laughs> Pausing a moment for effect, Mr. Collins smiled at his audience, which was practically squirming with anticipation. Okay, Gross. then let's get started. Per Sweet Valley tradition, we'll lead the contest with our king and queen. So without further ado, I present you King Winston Egbert <laughs> and Queen Jessica Wakefield. Okay, so... My loyal subjects. <laughs> am, am, I, am, am, 
Am I misconstruing this? So this is like a this, this is like a homecoming dance competition. It yes, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. It's the fall dance, but that's right, like just it's, homecoming. It's and the there's homecoming. a king and queen, which is also a homecoming the, thing. The yeah. homecoming so, yeah. dance with a dance it's, competition. It's a homecoming <laughs> dance that has turned into the dance competition from Greece. Oh my god, fantastic! Okay, yeah. so all right, so. I'm on yeah, the right I'm page. Definitely on board. Uh, yeah, up. and their their school, not school band, but one of the bands is called the Droids, which I love. Mm-hmm. A lone spotlight focused on the couple as the Droids let loose with a fast wall shaking number. What? Jessica was clearly in her element, moving with the music naturally and without effort. Do you also picture the Droids as like three high schoolers and Sebastian Bach? <laughs> um, no, but now I do. <laughs> I had just it pictured sounds amazing. Some, I had like just pictured alien. some faceless dickheads. Cap with alien, like, oh my god. Button down shirts with the top button unbuttoned. <laughs> mm. Well, I was picturing the puffs for the sorority, so that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. This, Classic Gilmore girls, this guys. Is just Gilmore girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gilmore girls is just a mashup of Twin Peaks and Sweet Valley. Oh god, <laughs> it is. Oh no. Jessica was clearly in her element, moving with music naturally without effort. Even her lustrous golden hair swayed to the beat, completing the perfect picture of a dancer caught up in ecstasy. Gross. Unfortunately for Jessica and her dreams of placing first, she had to share the spotlight with Winston. Okay, I thought he was going to set some rules. Uh, who the guy no, they all know the, the rules but there's no rules it's just the <laughs> band will play three songs <clears throat> judges will circulate and then there will be a winner but i don't know what the parameters are for this contest <laughs> well they, they all know the rules so why <laughs> explain it to know. us it's yeah, the fifth it's year just, they know what they know the rules he's not going to explain the rules when they all know <laughs> them it's we don't like know. They know. Rules. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. It's dance you know, rules. Who it's dance dances rules. the best? <laughs> I mean, who's going to change them? Like, what are the <laughs> rules for dancing with stars? I wouldn't dare. No one knows. That's where the perfect picture ended. He was a very clumsy dancer, trying Aww. to hide his ineptness by acting like a clown. I am 100% <clears throat> Team Winston. But Team oh, Winston yeah. is Team Jessica. Not, They're I on mean, the same it, team. In the case of Jessica and Winston, I'm team Winston. They're not Winston. gonna be like Winston wins, but Jessica doesn't. No, I mean They're like just a couple. For the, I mean, you know, as far as the book goes. Uh, just the book, I'm not on the Winston's dance contest. Side. Yeah. I'm all about a win win situation where oh it's just Winston that wins. Winston wins twice. Win win. Yeah. That's definitely what Winston calls win, a situation wins. where he wins. I call that a Ooh. win win. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> as they times. danced. Jessica's expression went from happiness to pure, helpless fury as she watched Winston run in circles around her, comically kicking his feet and clapping his hands. I'm with on Barbados. <laughs> with the way Winston was carrying on, she realized there was no way she'd ever win the contest, even if Elizabeth, who was as good a dancer as her twin, held back a little. Halfway through the first dance, in an act of quiet desperation, Jessica made heavy eye contact with a strikingly handsome boy. To her surprise and enormous delight, he caught her mental (laughs) SOS and began to walk in her direction. Jessica Jessica began (laughs) eye-fucking the first boy she saw that wasn't Winston. (laughs) Jessica's pulse quickened. He's coming, she thought excitedly. (laughs) Gross. (laughs) Not quite believing her eyes. Bruce Patman is coming to dance with me. She was so overcome by the very thought that she stopped moving, and Winston immediately stepped on her foot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jessica, he apologized. Jessica snapped back to attention. It's okay, I'm used to it, she grumbled. But what are you trying to do? Put me in the hospital? Before Winston could reply, Bruce tapped his shoulder. I've been watching your moves, Egbert, and I think you could use a little help. Watch how I do it. <laughs> I've just da, 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 decided. Da, da, da. I've just decided Bruce Patman's Gary Cole. <laughs> yeah. In one smooth move, like I was going to say that didn't just sound like Gary Cole, but like I liked Harvey what Burton. it was. Oh, I had in one smooth that. move, Bruce pulled Jessica from the startled Winston and took her in his arms. Bruce got no argument from Winston. He knew when he was upstaged. Accepting the inevitable, he quietly slunk to the refreshment table at the side of the gym. Spiking he loved the punch. Juice. <laughs> 
With conflicting emotions, Elizabeth had watched the scene unfold. Her sister did deserve to win, but it hardly seemed worth hurting Winston to get the prize. Especially if, as Elizabeth suspected, that Winston had a ginormous dong. <laughs> well, would you look at that, she said to Todd, nodding towards Jessica's news partner. I'm not surprised. Jessica always get what she wants. He talks weirdly about her, and I don't like it. Which one? Who? Uh, Todd. Todd. He just, he seems very reverent of her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bad <laughs> when, when reverence not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bad when you're dating a girl and you're like, man, your twin sister is fucking incredible. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I know what I, I guess I get what I mean, everyone sees in her. It's not like you can get mad because like, it's like I'm complimenting you. <laughs> Even though I never do. God damn it, I love Jessica. You know, I figure like two birds, one stone. Compliment your sister, <laughs> compliment you both. <laughs> 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 totally. <laughs> and then maybe the dreams I've been having will start making sense. <laughs> Uh, okay picking up here bruce patman (laughs) i I keep thinking it's not gonna be funny (laughs) i keep knowing it's going to be funny (laughs) (laughs) elizabeth mouthed the name of the one boy she'd hoped jessica would never catch catch I wonder what brought this on, she said aloud. What does this enigmat... What does this... Okay, sorry. What does that egomaniac want with Jessica? I think you have it the other way around. (laughs) 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 Looks simple enough to me, Todd remarked. The guy wants to win the contest, and that's Jessica's... And... Oh, God damn it. All right. The guy wants to win the contest, and Jessica's his best hope. I'm sure that's all it is. Jessica hoped that Todd was right, and she had to admit that Bruce was as good a dancer as Jessica. Together, they moved across the floor as if they'd always been partners. When the first dance ended, they were clearly unwilling to separate, and during the second and third songs, Bruce and Jessica shifted into more complex moves. Strength... <laughs> Grinding, <Sorry>. even. <laughs> An intimate lambada. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like, what is happening? Oh, man. They started doing a strange exotic dance known as the Beast with two backs. (laughs) (laughs) They then slid into the horizontal (laughs) shuffle. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, uh, With the strength of his well-muscled body. Uh, That's just, that's not even well-written. Well, and like, (laughs) you know, of course he's well-muscled. He fights crime every night. It's mm. gross and poorly written. <laughs> Welcome to this show. This <laughs> <laughs> well-muscled body, Bruce lifted Jessica high in the air and spun her, spun her around his broad shoulders and across his body. What? They were pure grace, electricity in motion, and as more and more couples grew aware of what they were up against, they dropped out of the contest to oh stand my... aside and admire this masterful f- performance. Oh my god. By the time the third song ended, only a handful of couples remained, <laughs> and the outcome of the contest was certain. Okay, Even... outside of Greece, nobody in high school dances that good. No. Like, no one in high school is just, like, masterful dancing. You're just like, uh, uh, uh. Like, everyone's just fucking grinding on each other. Yeah. Everyone's just horny. They don't know dance moves. Yeah. Dance moves is just dry humping. And it's just, you know, I'm reminded of the uh, the old Bill Hicks where he's like, you know, women are, you know, when he was back in the day, he was, uh, he was a horrible misogynist, but the bit's still funny. Um, women... <laughs> <laughs> women like to point out uh, 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 the way a man dances is uh, how he makes love and so if you see a guy out on the dance floor and he's uh, he's expressing himself he's having a wonderful time and he's like you know he's, he's, he's looking good out there what do you care how he makes love he's gay <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny good one <laughs> Sorry, that's right. I have some more page to read. What about uh, Mr. Collins? 
<laughs> Even Mr. Collins didn't try to prolong the suspense when he stepped back on stage to announce the winners. Jessica Wakefield and Bruce Patman, come on up here and get your award. <laughs> to a smattering of applause, they had some couples. Jesus Christ. The trophy from- <laughs> okay, so, so like they were just in awe, and now they're like, don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the background, you just hear like a, ah. <laughs> That's Winston by the juice bowl. <laughs> He's like smattering applause like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah, you cool. can lead everyone in the next dance. <laughs> Elizabeth was sure that the smile on Jessica's face had little to do with winning the contest. It appeared she'd, that she'd won what she'd considered a more valuable prize. Bruce Patman. But Elizabeth couldn't force herself to share her sister's happiness. She knew the real Bruce better than Jessica did. Back on the dance floor, Bruce had wrapped Jessica tightly in his arms as they moved in time to a slow ballad. Oh, she man. held on to him as if they were a as if they were living a dream she was afraid would end at any moment. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> You're some dancer, Bruce, she whispered breath, breath, breathlessly. A big improvement over when, especially on these slow numbers. Glad you noticed, baby, he muttered sweetly. <laughs> he murmured sweetly. Anyway, slow dancing isn't really dancing, is it, baby? What do you mean, Bruce? It's just... The easiest way for a guy to get his arms around a girl, if you know what I mean. Wink. Oh, is that the only reason you pecked me for a partner that night? <laughs> Jessica pretended to pout. Uh. It's a good reason. And I do have my arms around you. And I have mine around you. I'd say it works for both sexes, she retorted, pulling that was her body. A retort? A re- retort! Uh-huh. Pulling her body closer to his in typical jessica wakefield fashion you know <laughs> assault more like <laughs> jessica rapefield am i right <laughs> god <laughs> how did we not make that joke before uh boy but bruce patman pushed her back ever so slightly in dancing at least the guy still takes the lead what are you trying to, what are you trying to do here what are you trying to make me look like a fool his meaning wasn't <laughs> lost on Jessica. <laughs> she, she'd have to be less aggressive if she wanted to keep him interested. Ew. She was like, she's like putting one leg up on him, like, come on, ah. Uh! <laughs> <laughs> then I'll follow wherever you laid, she said with uncharacteristic submissiveness. Uh, I don't like this. Bruce nudged closer and rubbed his hand approvingly over the nape of her neck. <laughs> over at the refreshment table, Winston Jessica found Nate his... Jessica Field. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that nape, baby. <laughs> over at the... Re... <laughs> I'm sorry, you should never make nape jokes. <laughs> over nape at... jokes are never, ever funny. Uh, <laughs> what is she, Jessica Nate Field? You already... No, he said. Yeah. No, I said Nate Field. Yeah, that's did, what I just did said. I already say that? Not he said Nate. He said that a minute ago. He said Rape Field. Oh. The yeah, first time. I'm tired. And Don't then make I me said, say that. <laughs> I said um, it the first time, and then the second time I said Nate Field. Oh, you did? Oh, not I missed it. Betty! <laughs> <laughs> Over at the refreshment table, Winston downed his fifth vodka as he started <laughs> stared di- dis- dis- disconsolately dis- fuck. Dis- consolately? He dis- was upset. <laughs> Is that a word? Stared- dis- con- dis- okay, con- so we, we, were, we were just writing with dis- a, a thesaurus on hand, weren't we? Yeah. Disconsolately. I'm, I'm just, pretty sure I'm kidding, well, while that word is Winston real. Winston was upset. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that word has only ever been written and no one's ever actually spoken. <laughs> Elizabeth, <yeah. laughs> Elizabeth, hoping to cheer him up, poured herself a whiskey and sauntered <laughs> over to him. For a guy who's usually in the middle of everything, you're pretty quiet tonight, <laughs> she remarked. Winston pasted a broad smile on his face. 
Mm, just taking a time out. We kings have a heavy schedule. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth wasn't <laughs> fooled by his false show of bravado. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't Jessica that doesn't get you down? Doesn't qualify as a false show of bravado. <laughs> It does if you say it in this voice. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't, don't let Jessica get you down, Wynn. She's always doing things first and thinking about them later, believe me. You're talking about her and Patman? No big deal, he said lightly. Ooh, why shouldn't she want to dance with someone who doesn't step all over her toes? <laughs> Do the voice. God, nope. <laughs> I will not. <clears throat> Come on, Win. I saw you. You could be good if you tried. Smiling appreciatively at Elizabeth, he put down his drink. Look, the dance is almost over. Once it is, she'll dump Bruce and come back to me. We're still going to Ken's what? party together. No, she won't, you idiot. I see, she said with a look that expressed her doubts. Hey, don't worry about me, Winston added. I can handle your sister just fine. I sure hope so, Win Elizabeth said, trying to sound supportive. In her 16 years, she'd yet to come across a boy who could truly control her tempestuous twin. Because they've been doing this since birth. They've been at this since they were infants. On and on for 16 years straight. <laughs> 16 whole years. Elizabeth's like, why won't anyone believe me? <laughs> she killed the family dog. Stopped <laughs> once. Tempestuous twin is a great phrase, yeah, though. I like that. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, that's a decent one. It's, it's an understatement. I but... hope she uses it like a hundred more times in yeah. the rest of her books. Yeah. After the droids finished their last set, Elizabeth noticed that the mysterious man in the red leather pants, I forgot about <laughs> him, oh, was talking animatedly with them. Jessica and Bruce were still in the middle of the dance floor, moving to music only they could hear. In an effort to divert Winston's attention from the scene, but like Winston and Jessica aren't like sold off into marriage. I was going to say, they're not they like in a contractual have relationship. They date each other. Right. Well, there's weird I don't like know. school social obligations. Tell Winston but they, that they don't have to be. They're not fucking dating because they were voted for. I know that. I don't think Winston does. Okay. But well. but he has been like going after her since the first book. But he should fucking. But he's the egg man. Now. I mean. I mean, he should figure it out by now. <laughs> Goo <Goo-goo-ka-choob>. goo tube. Uh, <laughs> In an effort to divert Winston's attention from the scene, Elizabeth steered him in to a discussion about whether the Sweet Valley Gladiators had a chance at the state football championship this year. I bet it was real convincing. <laughs> the gladiators. Yeah. At first, Winston talked freely, but when he realized what Jessica was, or I mean, Elizabeth was doing, weird <laughs> faux pas, he stood up straight and announced, excuse me, Liz, but I've got something important to do. Win, wait, Elizabeth called, but Winston wasn't listening. Elizabeth was about to go after him when she felt a tap on her shoulder. Got a second. She turned to face Emily Mayer. Another name? The, the droid's drummer. <coughs> I may have a scoop for your column, Emily oh, said. <laughs> Casually running a hand through her dark brown wavy hair, she's gay. She was referring to the eyes and ears column this Elizabeth just said, wrote. I'm into you. <laughs> Uh, she was referring to the eyes and ears column Elizabeth wrote for the school paper. It's not official yet, but it looks like you've just seen our last high school concert. Elizabeth couldn't hide her shock. You mean you guys are splitting up? Oh, no. What I mean is, the droids are going big time. What a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Sorry, this cat. guy came up to us after we finished our set. Emily, Emily was racing now, trying to get the words out as fast as she could. He wants to manage us. He says he could make us stars. The guy in the red pants? <laughs> <laughs> Emily nodded. Are you sure he's for real? Elizabeth asked skeptically. I know it sounds crazy, but he's legit, Liz. His name is Tony Conover, and he's a representative of TG Good & Associates. 
That may not mean anything to you, but they're the agency that books all the major clubs in L.A. Tony said he's the one who discovered August Moon and the Savage Six, which is the a great August fucking Moon? band name. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome band name. I wish Rock Band was still a thing now. <laughs> oh, man. And look where they are now. They're touring with Bone Ladder. <laughs> Bone Ladder. Good He's been scouting joke. around the entire state looking at bands just like ours, and he says we've got what it takes. It sounds impressive, Elizabeth agreed, but don't rush into anything too quickly. I mean, isn't it all kind of a sudden? <laughs> Look, Emily said with a trace of annoyance. We're not going to do anything without giving it careful thought. But just think, Liz, we still could be playing L.A. Elizabeth grinned. I'll be there when you do. Moments later, Elizabeth <laughs> caught up with Todd, and together they rushed to the edge of the bleachers, where Jessica and Winston were in a heated discussion. Uh-oh. Look, Win, all I'm saying is that I just can't spend the rest of the evening with you, Jessica shouted. Uh-oh. But Jess, we had a date for tonight! <laughs> Just because we came here together doesn't mean we have to leave together. Where's your sense of adventure, Win? Come on, <laughs> loosen up. You're free to do whatever you want. I want to be with you. Oh, Win. No. Oh. Well, almost Wait. anything you want. Jessica's eyes lit up in inspiration. I've got it. Why don't you take Robin Wilson to Ken's place? She'd love it. Oh, the two of you would just be perfect. Then, as if everything were now happily resolved, Jessica patted Winston on the shoulder. (laughs) See you, Wen, and thanks for being such a good spot. (laughs) Okay, I don't remember what the Winston voice is. Ooh. Sure, sure, anytime. He mumbled to her, retreating back. (laughs) Like to picture him, like, turning around and running away at full speed. (laughs) <laughs> Him and Robin doing it would be like, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Winnie. <laughs> when Robin gets close, it uh, it starts going through like all the different genies uh, characters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wish I, could, I wish I could fucking think of a single one now. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Itty bitty living space. There it is. Thank you. Elizabeth had heard enough. Leaving Todd to cheer up the defeated Winston, <laughs> she raced to her sister's side before Jessica had a chance to find Bruce Patman. <laughs> Hold it, Jessica. Elizabeth didn't use such commanding such a commanding tone very often and jessica always knew when her sister spoke in that way it had to be something serious she stopped and turned what is it liz (laughs) how could you do that to win you've humiliated him (laughs) oh that he'll get over it (laughs) she answered breezily it's not like we're a couple or anything no but you had a date with him tonight so what where does it say I have to chain myself to Coco the Clown all night? Coco I've been Coco the Clown? Coco? With Ooh. a K? I'm, I, it wasn't well, Coco a gorilla? Googled. I thought Coco was a gorilla who loved Robin Williams, coincidentally. Oh, shit! Wasn't Coco the girl the one that had the kitten friend? They all have a kitten friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all? Every gorilla has a kitten friend, idiot. No, but I just, I love the story I heard about when Robin Williams was hanging out with Coco and then Coco makes some like sign and then her handlers come and like swiftly usher Robin out of the room and he's like, okay, so what just happened? And they're like, okay, so Coco just said, she just asked if she could be alone with you. Oh, Coco, and what Robin, the fuck, Robin and Robin, Williams? you know, Robin, you know, curious guy, I guess, was like, well, what would have happened if I'd gotten alone with Coco? And she, and the handlers are like, well, anything she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That's Coco uncomfortable. the Clown was that creepy clown that danced with ghosts in that, like, old animation you see in a bunch of shit. Oh, gross. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. That's, that's a deep <laughs> cut. I don't cut. like any Thank of this. No, I mean, wow. <laughs> That's a super insult, then. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what? Where does it say I have to chain myself to Coco the Clown all night? I've been waiting for Bruce since 
since birth, for heaven's <clears throat> sake. Gross. Jesus Christ. <laughs> for 16 years? <laughs> if you think I'm going to let him go now, you're wrong. But do you really think he's for you? Elizabeth persisted. Actually, yes, I think he's perfect. I'm telling you, Jess. Lizzie, that's enough. I, I'm, I'm going to have that dick, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That dick will be mine. <laughs> Let me have that sweet Bruce dare. <laughs> Finally, an accurate portrayal of how chicks talk. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. But how Jess. dare they? How dare they print this? Now you know. <laughs> All your I secrets. For, <laughs> I because they have the same fucking voice, right? So like, it's correct for me to just read them both with the same voice. Oh yeah, yeah. they're twins. You can okay. do that. You, you could do whatever you want. Yeah, man. you do whatever you want. I'm not gonna stop okay. you. Okay. I said, forget it, Liz. It's none of your business. I've got to find Bruce. She peered into the group of kids milling around the outside door to the gym. Seeing him, her heart melted and her voice grew noticeably softer. There he is now. <laughs> hey, Bruce, wait for me, she called into the crowd. With, with that, Jessica floated into the waiting arms of the most desirable boy at Sweet Valley High. Bruce Patman. Uh, Bruce Patman! <laughs> I uh, always read. I always hear it that way in my head. Like I must stop. All right, I'll go ahead. And, I'll go yeah. ahead and just finish yeah, out the last that, bit. Yeah. Of, yeah, And all Elizabeth could do was shake her head and hope she was wrong about Bruce, for her sister's sake. Am I forgetting something? I was just wondering that. Wait, what? Is Chris just said, "Am I forgetting something?" Is that there like some Elizabeth sort of witnessed Bruce here? do? Not that I remember. I is didn't this, even think. Well, there what seems. Is, What's there happening seems to just be anything. conflict yeah. arbitrarily inserted into every exchange between two people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't remember, like, uh, Elizabeth like, having anything to do Jessica with Bruce. Jessica has wanted Bruce. Bruce has been indifferent. Yeah. Elizabeth hasn't been involved in that. Yeah. Elizabeth seems to feel sympathy for Winston, who has a crush on Jessica, but that's no one's problem but Winston's. Uh, is this book going to, like, make <laughs> Elizabeth a villain for no fucking reason? I don't fucking know. Oh, like, boy. Well, no, I, I think we're just drunk dickheads that don't remember what Bruce Patman did. That was bad. I don't, that remember what I don't think Batman he did, did anything. I just know. think <laughs> Jessica has been pining for him. Yeah, the whole fucking time. Yeah, but like Elizabeth said in the previous chapter that Jessica isn't aware of who Bruce is like I am. Oh. Chapter two. Elizabeth couldn't. This is only chapter two. I, yeah, well, I, that's what I was thinking about. It feels like it's been forever. That was a long fucking chapter. That was a super duper long chapter. I, at one point, I looked at the time and I looked You're at 15 the fifteen percent through the book. I and know. This is chapter two. I looked at the percentage through the book and I was like, "Wait a minute, Holy Have, shit. did we did we start a new chapter? No, we fucking chapter didn't. length has not been consistent for the SVU, but that's one of the <laughs> things I love about it. Yeah, <laughs> chapter two. Elizabeth couldn't keep from biting her nails on the way to Ken's party. She wanted Gross. to keep an eye on Jessica, just in case her sister got too carried away. Turning to Todd, she snapped impatiently. Can't you make this car go faster? Must go faster. I, I put my headphones on at the exact moment with, I, Can you make this car go faster? <laughs> <laughs> Good. I just, I, the whole time you had your headphones off, I was at that level. <laughs> Amazing. That's um, amazing. Hey, what's with you? The party's just getting started. He turned to her and frowned when he noticed the worried expression on her face. Oh, I get it. It's Jessica, isn't it? <laughs> like always. Is that all they talk about? <laughs> right? Yes, I mean, she is. only all has her... one problem in her life. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's all anyone talks about because Jessica's a fucking monster. And she is everyone's problem. Yes, it's Jessica, Elizabeth admitted. I don't think she knows what she's getting herself into. Todd shook his head. Seems to me she's going to do what she wants anyway, Liz. You can't be her mother. I know, but if she'd only listen to me, maybe I could keep her from getting hurt. By Bruce? <laughs> Todd snickered. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, 
want you to clip out that server laugh and save it because it's gold. <laughs> Jessica's a big girl. She can handle herself just fine without your help. Besides, I'd say Bruce is the one who should be careful. Not that I think it's necessary. They seem perfect for each other. Jessica's feelings are sincere. I wish I could say as much about Bruce's. Her feelings? Jessica, feelings. Jessica's illusion of feelings are sincere. More like cravings. Yeah. <laughs> Since when have you become an expert on the inner workings of Bruce Potman? Isn't it possible he could like your sister? Anything's possible, she conceded. <laughs> Guess it, if someone could like her, I guess anything's possible. <laughs> so what's the problem? The problem is that Jess has a secret crush on Bruce for practically forever, and she wasn't acting like herself at all tonight. It was weird. She wasn't scheming or trying to ruin my life or anything. She was just trying to get her dick wet. <laughs> when she just heard Bruce's name, she looked as if she were... <laughs> <laughs> when she just heard Bruce's name, she looked as if she were ready to fall at his feet. I'm afraid of what might happen. I don't think he's good for her. He's not a nice guy, and I don't want to see her get hurt. And there's rumors that he goes around at night being a vigilante. He's got a he's got a coterie of villains, is what they say. I can <laughs> a real gallery of rogues. <laughs> Yeah. I can tell she thinks he's a dream come true, and it scares me. Todd, it scares me. Nothing's ever been more serious. Nightmare come true, right? Right? Elizabeth, you'll get past this eventually. (laughs) Todd turned into the long, winding dirt road to Ken's lakeside house, then parked beside a number of other cars that had transformed the Matthews's neat grounds into a miniature parking lot parents are gonna be pissed how are you going to stop her i don't know for sure she said dejectedly as she got out of the car then she smiled but i certainly don't want to ruin your evening todd figuring it out arm in arm they approached the crowd <laughs> zip gathering behind the stately stone faced house this is hard to relate to <laughs> <laughs> what are you it- talking about <laughs> It didn't take her long to spot Jessica. <laughs> she does look the same as her. <laughs> Who? To Elizabeth's it didn't dismay. didn't take her long to spot herself. Had her arm <laughs> locked securely around Bruce's waist. And also, in case you forgot, they're twins. We need to yeah. remind you again. Oh, shit. <laughs> the new couple was How standing alike on the are patio. they? Oh, my God. The new couple was standing on the patio talking to Ken and his date, Lila Fowler, and Paul Sherwood, and a few of Bruce's other friends from the tennis team. He oh, was on the, the tennis, tennis team. team. Uh, fuck, yeah. of course. <sighs> These are my father's friends from the club. A group Elizabeth thought were clicky snobs. <laughs> like, every school has their different high school athlete yeah. situation yeah. our tennis team were certainly not the cool kids <laughs> <laughs> i don't think we had a tennis team but i don't know i might not have just cared you went to yeah. your school, school probably had like I... a you probably had a croquet team or some shit no like we that. didn't have a croquet like team you, we had a lacrosse team for sure you had less sports i think than a lot of schools okay i feel i just from talking about it, i feel like yeah. you had less sports in general we had football um Field hockey, uh, lacrosse, <laughs> golf. Golf? Yeah. Yeah. David Did was on the golf team. softball and baseball? Of I course he was. I think so. But again, I was president of the art club, so I don't Aww. fucking know. <laughs> um, I just guess- heard really loud thunder, so in case my power goes out, I just it- want to prompt that before. Yeah, I- it's been thundering here for a bit. Yeah. Um, Jessica was staring adoringly into Bruce's deep blue eyes. Elizabeth knew that her twin, who was usually in control of herself, really, Uh. would die if she could see how she was behaving now. But she also realized that this was not the time to confront Jessica. A big scene in front of this crowd could be a disaster. Still, I don't understand what the conflict is. Me either. There seems to be no conflict. The (laughs) conflict... Jessica has a crush on a boy and is talking to that boy. 
The end. There is just a conflict in every exchange <laughs> yeah. between two people. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Oh, how? There's a cat biting my feet, which is more conflict <laughs> than is in this entire piece. Um, Alfie, and a you're more real, understandable, you're a real Bruce relatable right conflict now. than anything we've read thus far. <laughs> Sighing, she allowed Todd to steer her toward another group gathered near the lake. Jessica, meanwhile, had to keep pinching herself to believe she was really there with Bruce. Totally oblivious Ow. to the conversation Ow. taking place, Ow. her mind kept repeating the words he'd whispered while they'd been dancing. I've had my eyes on you for a long time, Jess. <laughs> that was the words he whispered. We could have a real good time together. Oh, God. Okay, that's not much farther than the like joke it. I was going to make. As always, Bruce was enjoying being the center of attention and enthusiastically reenacted an incident that had occurred the night before. So I look behind me, and there's the big red light of a cop car gaining on me. I could have put my black beauty into fifth and really let her rip. <laughs> but I was in a generous mood, so I pulled off to the side of the road. What's the matter, officer? I asked. I was really polite, trying to get on his good side. But he wasn't buying. <clears throat> Uh, Just kidding. The officer was like, oh, you're white and rich. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Would you name your car Black Beauty? Tell your father I said sorry. <laughs> yeah, tell your father the judge I said hi. <laughs> they couldn't give your... even give us the name of an actual fucking muscle car. <laughs> yeah. All I know is it's black and it's beautiful. <laughs> give me your license and registration. He was really barking at me, you know. The guy was mean. The type who'd put you in a choke cold without blinking an eye. So I gave him the stuff, and he says, Hmm, Patman, eh? He's no fool. He knows the name. Oh so God. I say, Yeah, Patman. One of the Sweet Valley Patmans. <laughs> what of it? What I did not ad lib that. I just want to let yeah, the, no. the audience of two did know. Did you? No, that was I all. No, you did. That, no, that was, that was word, fucking word. That was word, word fucking perfect. <laughs> it was He's no name. fool. He knows the name. So I say, yeah, Patman. One of the sweet valley Patmans. What of it? <laughs> what of uh, it? Mr. Patman. He called me Mr. Can you believe it? You were going I, 82 in a 35 zone. I feel like it's zone. the fucking point of the story that he called you Mr. <laughs> Damn anyway. So I say, that's too bad. I'll try not to do that anymore. Then I flashed a 20 under his nose. Uh, uh, like, right up under his nose. I'm pretty sure I got a couple of those boogers that poor people have. What do you say we just he, pretend this never happened? And you know, he already he took was it. letting you off I know, because that's of your what fucking I, uh, connections in town. You, you did the 20. <laughs> well, you know, that cop was just like, this fucking idiot thinks he needs to bribe me. I'll take it. <laughs> And you know, he took it. You ought to try that the next time you get caught, Kenny boy. Chris did not make a single word up. And now, <laughs> guys, I am 100% on Elizabeth's side. Uh, Elizabeth's side. Uh, uh, Bruce Patman is, is bad news. Alfie. Even if he made up every word of that story, I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would if my name were Patman, he answered. You sure you didn't threaten to sick your dad on this guy? I don't know where that voice came no, from. No, no, it's, you get, it's got to be like the, mm, oh, yes, because he's, you know, Ken. He's the Ken Lakehouse boy. <laughs> now, Ken, baby, would I do a thing like that? Bruce asked with mock indignation. I'm too nice a guy to stoop to that. What do you say, Jessica? He squeezed her around the hoist. A long silence followed as everyone in the group waited for Jessica's reply because they were all deathly afraid of her <laughs> finally realizing all eyes were upon her she snapped out of her daydream oh am i supposed to say something she asked for the first time in her life she was caught completely off guard lila looked at her with undisguised amusement well aware of jessica's crush on bruce she could see that her friend was already off the deep end good luck jess she thought you're going to need it Meanwhile, Jess's survival instincts kicked in, and she was immediately figuring out how to murder everyone in a three-foot radius. <laughs> Ken, she's too. Far. She's off the deep end. She's 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 been addicted to that. Her fight or that. flight mechanism <laughs> picked, kicked in, and she horse. picked fight. She's stuck on the horse, and she can't kick it. She's gone. The only thing I have, the only leverage I have left, is my presence in her life, and I have to say, good luck, best of luck to you. <laughs> nice knowing you, Jess. I, Ken. I hope it works out, but it really doesn't seem like it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Ken, feeling embarrassed for Jessica, stepped in to rescue her. I think it's time we all cooled off. What do you say we uh, get our suits and hop in the lake? <clears throat> After changing into a bright red bikini that accented every curve of her trim body, Jessica joined Bruce at the lake's edge. Though the night was warm, she shivered. Was it the temperature or the sight of Bruce's own lean, firm frame? She wasn't certain. The sensation was... Sorry, the laptop's dying. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> the sensation was thrilling, nevertheless, and it was heightened But when she watched Bruce dive gracefully into the water. He's beautiful, she it's thought. Rain, aware. It looks like it's so it's changing. Oh, wait, hang on. I, uh, I'm gonna. <clears throat> it looks the same. I'm gonna hang on a sec while you work this out. Yeah. Uh, vamp. I mean, vamp, it looks... vamp. 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 <laughs> vamp. Vamp. It looks vamp, the same vamp, as when you went over vamp, there. Vamp, I don't vamp, know vamp, what happened. Okay. Each podcaster Sorry. dance now. <laughs> Turn that on. Battery saver. You missed a good vamp, Jonathan. Yeah. Does that mean it's charging? I think the green means it's charging. Green, uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, keep, keep going. All right. Okay. He's Oops, beautiful. Hold, wait, wait, hold. Oh, 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 oh God. Hold on. No, no I'm going to There we go, there we go. It was all a trap. <laughs> okay, all right. What? He's beautiful, she thought, aware of the tense stirring inside her. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> the first feelings of love. That's not love. She was sure of it. Confidently, she positioned herself on the diving platform and did a perfect backflip into the deep, cool water. When she surfaced, Bruce was by her side. Pretty fancy move there, babe, he remarked, impressed. I was on the girls' swim team in junior high. Well, that has nothing to do with backflipping into the water. She reminded him proudly as they swam to a point where the water was uh, no longer over their heads. They both stood a bit apart from each other. The shock of the cool water had done little to ease the tension within Jessica. God damn it! Ah. Okay. Only the touch of Bruce's arms, she realized, could soothe her now. She swam a few strokes and stopped very close to him. Ah, God damn it. You can, sh- <laughs> you can show off your stroke some other time, he said. For now, let's pick up where we left off on the dance floor. Gesturing broadly, he asked, may I have this dance? Okay, so they're going to do a water dance in the school pool? <laughs> Certainly, Jessica answered, needing no prompting. She gladly fell into his embrace. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, they totally need they totally need uh, matching um, uh, one pieces and and swim caps. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Ignoring all the others now, and the, oh, they're in a lake. Ignoring all the others now in a lake, she basked in the realization that for the evening she was Bruce Patman's girl. <laughs> And no and one she... could see where their hands were. <laughs> <laughs> and she hoped it was only the beginning. Why have we waited so long to do this? Bruce Bruce whispered in her ear as he circled her in the water, which came to her shoulders. For for some reason, we're noting that. Um, I don't know. You never got those dead animals. I, I, I sent think you. we want to make sure that he can't see her like wet nips or anything. We want to like keep it, keep the readers visual PG thirteen. <laughs> anyway, there's a time and a place for everything, Bruce. It just wasn't our time before. Jessica's words surprised her. She didn't really believe them. It's our time now, Bruce said huskily. <laughs> Or it could be, if you want it, gently pressing the back of her neck with his fingertips, he brushed his lips against hers. Oh, Bruce, Jessica said and sighed when their lips parted temporarily. He pulled her closer this time for a long, lingering kiss unlike any she'd ever experienced before. So fucking gross! Ew, you mean their tongues touched? Gross. As they continued to embrace, Bruce slowly dropped his arms from her neck, the nape of it, to her back. 
Too caught up in the rapture of the moment, <laughs> Jessica had no idea what he was doing until she felt the cool water swirl under her bikini top and hit her breasts. Yikes. Whoa. Oh. oh, he took her top off. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> right in front of everyone, Bruce had untied her bathing suit strings. Though only her head and shoulders were visible above the water, Jessica was still shocked. Yes, am I. <laughs> Bruce was moving too far too fast. She had cold titties, and she didn't like it. Cold, wet titties. She realized she, <laughs> she realized she had to retie the top without making him think she was some kind of goody goody. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's yep. Priorities. <laughs> now, Bruce, why'd you go and do a thing like that? She said, exaggerating a pout. <laughs> Pretending to be madder than she was, she, uh, really? She should genuinely she should, be madder than she is. She should be, yeah, yeah. She should be madder than she currently is. Pretending right, to be right ahead, it gets worse. Oh, great! <laughs> Pretending to be madder than she was, she pushed him away and quickly retied her top. Bruce smiled shyly. <laughs> What's the matter, Jess? Don't you like to play big girl games, ah, or are you just a tease? Ah, <laughs> Oh, you, no. You know, like, uh, my main thing it. with that is, like, I don't know how anyone, like, someone somewhere has had to have said that and meant it. Yeah. I don't know how anyone could say that confidently. <laughs> well, you I are not as... I feel... feel like so uh, many. Yeah. Chris, yeah, you're not as like, rich as Bruce Patman. Yeah, true. My father is not a judge. If you can just pay your way out of a ticket... And actually, if you don't need to pay your way out of a ticket, if the cop is just like, oh, I recognize your last name, um, yeah, you're going to say shit like that. And you give him a guys, 20 anyway. Guys, just for recognizing our, our, problem, our problem is we did not see him on that dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> if we saw the way he moved, we'd be like, oh, yeah, no, he oh, deserves yeah. all the oh, yeah, privilege yeah. he has. You do whatever you want to do. But, but no, like, like the way that, like, I, I personally can't talk that way. <laughs> No. Even well, in a good. I, the, no one should it. talk that way. <clears throat> but a like, lot of guys but, do. But yeah, a lot of them do. I mean, a many, lot of them. Many, in, many, a lot many. Of them, okay, not but even fairness, as rich as Bruce do it. In fairness to Bruce, <laughs> no one in this book talks like a human being. <laughs> <laughs> That's very All true. All I'm saying is, I've never been that confident, even in shit I'm good at. That's not confidence. It's That's not confidence. It's. Disgusting entitlement. Yeah, yeah. Those Take are different entitlement. That seriously. Yeah. Oh no, Ooh. Bruce. I like playing as much as you do. I just don't like to rush into things. I. It's more fun when you take your time. Didn't anyone ever tell you that's what girls really like? Jessica said, moving a little farther away from him. Farther, Jessica. So now you're playing hard to get, Bruce said mockingly. He moved through the water like a shark. Away from her. Huh. Oh. <laughs> like a shark like, swimming like, far like away. A sh like a shark swimming backwards like they can't. Sharks who definitely <laughs> swim away from their prey. <laughs> Anxiously, Jessica reached out for him. Uh, 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 oh, God, uh, this is such a... Fucking bummer! Uh, afraid he might How be... How did I grow up reading this uh, shit? Afraid he might be leaving her. Uh, fuck. I don't play games by... Th oh. <clears throat> I don't play games by those rules. <laughs> he informed her arrogantly. In fact, <laughs> I don't play games by any rules because I win all games by default because I'm entitled <laughs> to everything. He, he's that uh, Paul Rudd character from Parks and Rec. Yeah. But like rapier. Well, maybe it's time to break the rules, Jessica said. No, don't tell him that, Jessica, you bitch. Why would I want to do that, he asked, for this. Swimming over to Bruce, Jessica gave him a slow, m moist kiss. And Ugh. if it's already in the pool, for it to be moist. It's a lake. It's already gross. It's a lake. Oh, she gave him a moist lake kiss full of fish poop and lake water. And fish urine. Uh, Jessica swam up to Bruce. And fish. Jessica 
Jessica swam open mouth to Bruce, so she let a bunch of water in there. And then she That's why it was so poised. And then she was like she was like Puck it up, and she like smashed her face onto his and just squirted water all over it. Then murmured seductively, Let's start all over again. Let's get out of here first, he said <laughs> huskily. <laughs> Let's get out of here first. Oh. Hold Double on, beat. Hold He's on. already said something huskily. You got you to gotta say the let's get out of here first and the next bit like like a bad action star because it's such a line from one of those movies from the <laughs> spent, Let's get out of here first. He said huskily. I think we're both waterlogged. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jonathan took off his glasses before he said waterlogged for the listener's benefit. <laughs> it was perfect and beautiful and everything I wanted it to be. Oh Alex God. is dying. <laughs> Sounds fine to me, she purred. And I know just the place we can dry off. In the mud room Out of with the, the lake. This is too much. Or the not mean. lake, I'm so as upset. I call it. <laughs> How much of this are we reading? Just We're at twenty percent. We'll read. We'll read. <laughs> we just read the end of to the end of the chapter. Their departure from the lake did not escape Elizabeth's attention. She'd been standing by the water's edge, talking with some friends, when she noticed her sister and Bruce embrace, then pull themselves out of the water and walk towards some trees. <laughs> Uneasy about what Jessica could be getting herself into, Elizabeth turned quickly to Todd and said. No, I just remembered. I left something in the car. I'll be back in a sec. Real smooth. I thought she was gonna be like, "Oh, I just remembered. I have to go to those I'll, trees." I'll come with you, Todd <laughs> offered. No, I'll be fine. She said, I running off shit. before Todd had a chance to respond. As soon as he was out of sight, Elizabeth cut a path to her left, swiftly walking in the direction where she had last seen Bruce and Jessica. Moments later, Elizabeth stood before a dense row of juniper trees that separated the lake area from the more secluded part of the Matthews's property. Away from the festive party lights and pulsing music, it was dark and still. Elizabeth began to move through the trees, guided only by the dim glow of the moon. Why? Do you it's really beautiful. want to see what's happening in there, Elizabeth? Why should a child have to read the word property? <laughs> Property? Yeah, that's just... That's, that's just the word. Shit that's the, that's the problem. Yeah, okay. It didn't take long until she heard sounds she had dreaded hearing. Oh, the sounds cool. of two people whispering <laughs> breathlessly as the leaf-covered ground crackled under the weight of their bodies. Uh, uh, the whispers were too uh, much. Uh, <laughs> Because they were just rolling along. <laughs> Elizabeth. They were doing like a stop, drop, and roll maneuver. <laughs> they just kept rolling. Through the woods. Non-stop rolling. The, the murmurs were, non -stop ow, whispering. Ow, ow. Are we doing it yet? Yeah, it'll get in there eventually. Another fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is it, fall? Jesus. <laughs> it is fall. It is it's fall. fall dance. It's fall, yeah. They're crackly leaves. <clears throat> oh, God. Elizabeth stopped abruptly, hoping they hadn't heard the crunching sound of her own footsteps. She was eavesdropping on a passionate moment, and it made her feel uncomfortable. As Even though I. she did it intentionally. Uh, right? You're like, what did you think you'd hear? Wait. Wait, it's fall and they're swimming in a lake? Yeah. yeah, it's the fall dance. It's, it's, like, oh, it's California, right? Oh, it is California, but it gets cold there yeah. at night, right? I've never fucking been there. No, it, well, like no it actually, okay, no, it does. It gets cold. You were stranded on I the beach I there. Was, yeah, I was stranded on um, Ventura Beach in my swim shorts. <laughs> and it was... How cold was it? Ooh, I'll tell you. It was... <laughs> It was fucking freezing. It was so cold that I had to ask a security guard to let me sit in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, they made the for triple like, there. Compared to, East, <laughs> compared to East Coast weather, what was it like outside? Was it like a crisp fall day? It was, was it the okay. dead of winter? Picture yourself wearing only shorts. That yes. that that no, I, I'm I'm picturing you rolling up to this security guard in like a parka with fucking frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing only shorts, no shoes, nothing. Um, 
at, that I have that have been air drying. So they're probably not even like totally dry. They're like so like cold, damp shorts. And the temperature went from like 70 down to 60. Which 60 doesn't sound cold until well, you think I, about That's why I'm saying tell yeah. me what it's like. Is it like a crisp fall day? Y- uh, y- yeah. A chilly fall night? It's maybe not quite a chilly fall night, but it is not like a summer night. It was fucking cold. Okay. Like like 60 degrees is cold if you're not wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> There. What's the temperature right yeah, now? Yeah, what's the temperature right now? Great I'll question. Go outside. So Jonathan got arrested at Venice Beach. No, I got rescued. Right, 61 cl- right now. One degree colder. <clears throat> I'm going to take my clothes off and go outside. Yeah, I was going to say, take your clothes off. No, no, no. Take and slightly yeah. dampen them. Yes, take Jonathan clothes. got I will rescued by a St. Bernard with one of those fucking <laughs> <laughs> barrels full of, full of like, liquor. I pulled the cork out and I like drank brandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, in my head, like his story is he asked a guard to sit in his car. No, it's you got arrested because you were crazy for even swimming at that time. That guard, okay. and they were no, just okay, like, okay. that guy's clearly insane. I don't need Get to tell this whole truck. story. I thought you knew this whole story. Chris, Bitch, I don't remember did. shit. I I was swimming in the ocean <laughs> on a work trip. I lost the keys to the rental car. What are you fucking Bruce Patman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, he's the Winston Sweet Egbert. Valley Patman. <laughs> uh, I I lost the he's keys Lizzie. to the rental car, in which I had locked all of my possessions, my phone, and all of my clothes and my wallet. So all I was wearing was swim trunks. Thank God, uh, my coworker Zach had AAA, but. Uh, they sent the wrong size tow truck first. It was a it was an ordeal. So it went from walked being up to the guard and said, "Warmth, please." It went from yeah. It went from being sunny uh, California uh, uh, afternoon in the ocean to chilly California night, where no one's allowed on the beach because apparently there's stabbings there. Um, the reason the security <laughs> innocent fool. <laughs> the reason the security guard walked into us like in Baltimore for like seven oh, yeah. years. The security guard though th- did At like that point you're immune to stabbing. We're just like standing outside our car in an empty parking lot at night, and this security guard drove up and he was like, "What are you guys doing here?" And we're like, "We're waiting for AAA. <laughs> it's been <laughs> it's been hours. We're just waiting." And he was like, "It's not safe here." <laughs> like. <laughs> It's not. And at that point, I think I was just like, can, can I sit in your car? Because <laughs> oh I can't sit in mine. <laughs> anyway, what about okay. Bruce? Okay, there were crinkling and crunching around on the leaves. Um, Elizabeth was filled with distress. Elizabeth will just get in Bruce to stop, hoping that her usually reckless sister would for once control her impulses. Uh. But the soft sounds continued. Ew! Ew. And Elizabeth had to make a decision. Embarrassed or not, she resolved to approach the couple. No. She went there intentionally. Like, what did she think was going to happen? Yeah, didn't she She, know she was going to have to interrupt sex? She decided as soon as she started walking towards him. Yeah. Deliberately coughing loudly. (laughs) (laughs) Elizabeth made her way through the leaves, walking slowly, hoping to give Jessica and Bruce enough time to disentangle themselves. But they refused to be warned. She was practically standing on top of them when they finally noticed her. Oh my god. (laughs) Jessica looked up and scowled. God, Elizabeth, must you go sneaking up on people like Jack the Ripper? Don't you have any respect for other people's privacy? She was lying wrapped in Bruce's arms, and she barely turned her face from his. Elizabeth refused to budge. Could I see you for a minute, Jess? I've got a real important problem. It can wait, Liz, (laughs) said a very annoyed Bruce. Can we just talk for a second? Like, what was Jess's thought process? Like, he wants to fuck me in the water. We can move from the water to land where he won't want to fuck me? Yeah. 
Like, is it where just, it won't be definitely easier to fuck me, old land? Is it just that she didn't want to ha- like fuck him in front of a bunch of people? She said he, well, her whatever in her monologue was like he was moving too fast. Yeah, but it well, would surely okay. be easier to move faster on land than in a lake. <laughs> I think her thought process was, oh, this is moving too fast, and he was like, oh, what are you? <laughs> A prude, and she's like, "No, no, no, no! I love you. Uh, I'll do anything you want." I think that's what happened. But then on land, it's easier. No, but that's why I'm saying. I think in the water, she was like, "Well, that's too fast," and he was like, "Well, if that's too fast, fuck she you." She thought like half I think a the, step the ahead. The idea, the idea here is he su- successfully worked some fucking like neg bullshit on her. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, because he was just like, oh, well, if that's how you're going to be, you know, I th- oh, I thought you like to play big girl games. And she was like, oh, no, I do. It just seemed like she thought she was safer <laughs> out of the water than in the water. Which, no. My uh, no, theory is no. uh, she has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> uh, for sure. Oh, definitely that. Yeah, She's flying from the seat of her pants. <laughs> Even though in the first book she went to a bar and like almost got assaulted yeah also so. another instance of not knowing what she's doing yeah but like that already happened so she should be like ah oh, men will assault you <laughs> yeah but but she's just like everything will turn out great for me i'm jessica wakefield That's true. <laughs> and i'm 16 <laughs> <laughs> all right chris all right it's happening <clears throat> jack the ripper uh, Elizabeth refused to budge. Could I see you for a minute, Jess? I've got a real important problem. It can wait, Liz, said a very annoyed... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I did that twice. I did the wrong voice twice. <clears throat> it can wait, Liz, said a very annoyed Bruce. I'm talking to Jessica, not you, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, damn. Elizabeth retorted. Jess, can you come inside for a minute? Before Jessica had a chance to answer, Bruce raised himself on one elbow coolly allowing his free hand to slide seductively along Jessica's right arm and come to rest on her shoulder just above her breast. Okay, so porn star pose, right? That's what we're all picturing? I know, I'm just like... Up, her, <laughs> like up, you see up on the shoulder and then down happening. a little bit. Like, Does he have a look on his face? <laughs> Does he have a look on his brace like, oh, th- there might be a breast here. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> Jessica didn't move. <laughs> Look, honey, <laughs> Bruce started. I'm not your fucking honey, Elizabeth snapped. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever. Can't you see Jessica's busy? Whatever you want can wait. I have to talk to my sister now. Jessica, Elizabeth's stare bored directly into her sister's eyes. Please, Jessica, she practically pleaded. <laughs> well, no, she did plead. She, she literally pleaded. pleaded. Bruce smirked. Go on, he said to Jessica. I wouldn't want to hold you unless you want me to. To Jessica, the message was clear. Go with Elizabeth and kiss Bruce Patman goodbye. It took only a second for her to decide. I'm not going anywhere just now. Then, turning to Elizabeth, she added, Look, whatever it is, I'll talk to you about it later, okay? Elizabeth was mortified because her sister was a dumb piece of shit. (laughs) Jessica had never rejected her so bluntly before. It was clear that she would have needed a crowbar to pry her sister from Bruce Patman's arms. Forget it, Elizabeth said. There was a mixture of hurt and disgust in her voice. Or she was just tired of her shit like in my brain. Then she turned and headed back to the party. Jessica smiled. Now that she had nothing to lose, she wanted to show Bruce her strength. Do you believe her, she said? Sorry, I was too busy flipping off Kelly. (laughs) As soon as Elizabeth was out of earshot. Sometimes she's really off the wall. From the way she came stomping over here, you'd think she was your babysitter. Oh, wait, were you guys all giving the finger to Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, she's gone now. So oh, you're reading. reading. You're That's reading. Not fair. You missed her. Kelly, Kelly, come back. <laughs> Chris, Chris didn't see you before. He was reading. I didn't get a you chance get, to give him the middle <laughs> finger. Hi. You can talk. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh, I miss you. I miss you guys. You want to read with us? Okay. <laughs> I'm high off of killing it at trivia, so. Nice. Oh, shit. Nice. 
We're, it's we're... Alex's turn, so you could just steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? Where was top I? of the page? Top oh, of yeah, page. top of the page. He just started. Yeah. Sometimes she's really off the wall. Did you say that? Mm. Yeah. All right. From the way she came slumping over here, you'd think she was your babysitter. No, I'm sure it has nothing to do with me, she lied easily, knowing full well it had everything to do with her. <laughs> it pro- It's probably more stuff about that guy she's madly in love with. She did say she had the problem, remember? Oh, yeah. You mean Todd? Bruce asked, taken in. <laughs> I couldn't possibly tell you, Jessica purred coyly. After all... She's my sister, and we never betray each other's secrets, no matter what. Except always. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is is this Sweet Valley High? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Except in the last book when she 100% betrayed your secrets. She sucks, man. <laughs> Jessica Wakefield, you bitch. <laughs> but, Bruce whispered, can you keep a secret from her? Uh-oh. What do you mean, she asked, their faces barely inches apart. This, he said, and he kissed her deeply. It took her breath away, leaving her helpless in his arms. As much as Jessica loved the way she was feeling, another part of her was disturbed. She was used to having the upper hand with boys, but already she was starting to feel out of control. She had to slow Bruce down, and now was the time to try. She blurted out the first thing that came out that came to her mind. Actually, I hope Liz hasn't found out the truth. What truth? What's that? Asked Bruce, his curiosity revived. That Todd's been fooling around, Jessica lied. Ah, uh, I... a lie. Oh, oh, The okay. truth, that's a Ooh. lie. Another lie about Todd, oh my... who she's already lied about. Oh, my God. <laughs> this bitch. Oh, I hate her so much. <laughs> I can't bear to tell her. She'll be so hurt. Anyway, he added... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I shouldn't be bothering with it. It's not our problem. That's for sure, baby. Uh, we don't have any problems, do we? Oh, he kissed God her again. It. And this time she felt herself respond with rising passion. <laughs> <laughs> and as Bruce's lips pressed against hers, she felt her power over him slip away. Bruce, in control and knowing it, broke the kiss and looked deeply into her eyes. Ooh, Alex, take us home! (laughs) Alrighty. But baby, you'd know in a minute if we did have a problem. How? By the empty space next to you? Jessica suddenly felt insecure and vulnerable. She cuddled, she cuddled closer to Bruce, and in her sexiest voice, with her lips tickling his, ah, his, with her lips tickling his ear, whispered softly, "I'm sure it doesn't feel empty now. Ugh. Ugh. I can't Fuck commit to any. I, this is, this is. I can't commit to any of this." Sexier, Alex. Uh, no, nope. like a sixteen-year-old the... girl. More... <laughs> yeah, that more like a hearty sixteen-year-old girl. Sexiest sixteen girl, sixteen-year-old girl. You're gonna get out of me reading these lines. <laughs> fuck this. I already <laughs> thought it was too much. Thank you, Chris. Oh God, I agree. It was. Whoa. I I was too into it. <laughs> as it Cal- was. Calm down, there, man. My basement's flooded. <laughs> <laughs> He responded by turning his face to hers and kissing her hard, his arms <laughs> crushing her against him, his mouth demanding what his body wanted to take. Ugh. Gross. Hey, fuck, 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 fuck him. Fuck, fuck this. I don't fuck like the writer of these books. At the end of that chapter. Oh, yeah, no, that's... I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, well... Uh, gross. That was... Uh... <laughs> Part one of Sweet Valley High number three. I mean, we knew what we were in for. This shit is par for the course. I mean, this is what I'm here for. I remember reading these books. I don't remember them being so sexual. (laughs) I really don't. They are, yeah, they are hypersexual. Yeah. Holy crap. All right. For this to be the second, the third book? Third. I don't remember that shit at all. Yeah. 
I just well, remembered I mean, there were twins. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I, I love that, like, the very first book was, like, a falsely accused date rape. Yeah. And you're just like, they were twins. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got from <laughs> oh my god like that's where it started and well, like, that's what I'm it, it like, only it's only gotten worse yeah as i can it only ma- there's like a hundred of these books where does it end does jessica kill someone god well damn. in my head in my heart of hearts it ends <laughs> with uh jessica on the run because she's killed like a shitload of men <laughs> like she's essentially like, like uh, a black widow yeah and and Elizabeth works for the FBI and she's the only one that can hunt her down. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a better story Ooh. than this. I watched watch that where's, shit. Where's that movie? And it's just like and you know like there's a line where, where like like they flip their hair and they're just like, "Well, of course I can hunt her. She's my twin." <laughs> oh my god. You know how they made like that Brady Bunch movie in the 90s that was like a satire like, "Hey, we know what the Brady Bunch was and now we're going to like have the, fun that, with it." I that want brilliant yes, work of I art. I love that movie. It's an incre- we we put that on recently because it was just like on HBO. We were like, oh, let's watch this, and then we were like, this fucking it's movie's so amazing. Also with Gary Cole. Yes. yes. So they should do that same type of like reverent but like satire thing with baby with with Sweet Valley High and like make it over the top. And by that I mean we should yeah. make that. we should make that movie. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Procedural. FBI drama. <laughs> Francine the Pascal. The Sweet Valley Twins. With the Sweet Valley Twins. <laughs> because I just want to assume that every author we read listens to our the, show. Uh, Francine Pascal, <clears throat> hey, the t- uh, give us give us money. Is the tagline like, we, we, we will make this. Jessica Wakefield's on the run, and the only person who can hunt her is herself. <laughs> yeah, and then we could tagline it as the real SVU. Ah, oh, shit! All right, we cracked it. Uh, Alex, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's a blast. And, and thanks for thanks to Kelly for her her cameo. Um, anything you want to plug for people who might be listening? Oh, not a damn thing in the world. Cool. <laughs> Good. All right. Is there anything by anyone else you want to plug? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, Denzel Curry just released a new album called "Melt My Eyes, See Your Future." It slaps. Check it out. All right. Check out that album. And uh, go to cactusradio.com. Check out our shit. Subscribe to our shows. We got this. We got the sketchy show. And watch Pop Psychic Theater. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing because Kelly popped into the background real quick and then quickly (laughs) disappeared. I didn't see it. Well, uh, this has been a boy, it's been a ride. And I cannot wait to see what the fuck happens next. So join us next time as we continue this journey into Sweet Valley High. Thanks for listening. We love you. Bye. 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 Below Grade Level is a Cactus Radio production. You can contact us at podcast at cactusrodeo.com. Subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, and follow Cactus Rodeo on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more entertainment and updates. It look the same at Sweet Valley.
of circus music. But this isn't. Oh, it is. It isn't. Yeah. You want to know what this song's called? Tittles and Wiggles. What's it called? It's it's called Entry of the Gladiators. Can I'm you imagine sorry? being a gladiator nice. and that's the song that's, you're brought into? Um, that's and you have song, to fucking kill some dude? That's I'd kill some dudes to that song. That is exactly <laughs> Wait, the music I would be brought into if I was a gladiator. Maybe that's why it's so creepy. Like we, we, we just have like a deep-seated thing in our DNA. Wait a minute, it's like we hear that gladiators? song, people are about God. to die. That's so why we're so that, afraid of clowns. So that song is the prologue to gore. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, what I I want to see someone rescore like Gladiator with that music and just watch <laughs> Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not entertained. I, 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 I am. I'm quite entertained. I am. I'm quite entertained. Yeah, very entertained. I saw that movie. <clears throat> I saw it once, and is it good? No, I don't know. I don't remember. It's what, for Gladiator? middle-aged women. Yeah. I never uh, saw Gladiator's it. awesome. Oh. Is it? Oh, it's a it's a fucking badass. Maybe it's like it's like it, it it shouldn't have it shouldn't have taken home so many Oscars, but like it's fine. <laughs> Most yeah. things fine that take home work. a lot of Oscars shouldn't. Uh, yeah, right. it's an awesome movie. <clears throat> I, um, I don't know how they're gonna make a sequel somehow, but are they awesome for real? Pa- apparently, Ridley well, yeah, Scott's Ridley been Scott, talking he... about it for years. Yeah, because oh, Ridley Scott Cause what, fucking let sleeping dogs lie. What can't Ridley Scott ruin if he tries hard <laughs> enough? <laughs> But no, um, it's it's great, and the movie holds up. No, nothing Joel Schumacher can't ruin. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> R.I.P. Didn't he die? Did he? Joel Schumacher? I'm pretty sure he I think died. So, okay. yeah. I think I because I remember when he died, people were like, "Oh man!" And I was like, "Isn't he shitty?" And then we looked, and like everyone was like, "He's he's kind of okay. He did some good stuff, I think." Like he's not a bad person. It, no, he's not a bad person. He just, oh, he did just die made, two years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He oh, just he was made spared. two really misguided Batman movies. <laughs> no, he see, I think what history has shown us is that he made the two Batman movies he fucking meant to oh, make. Made... Is that we didn't know. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying he, he was, was doing misguided. what he was doing. <laughs> 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 let, let Joel fully Schumacher make a on Batman him. once. Shame on you. Let Joel Schumacher make a Batman twice. Shame on me. It's true. We all loved Batman love, Forever. I did love Batman Forever yeah. at the time. We all did. I did love Batman Forever. I also saw the movie Phone Booth about five billion times. I don't understand how you could watch that movie that often. Because I had a crush on Kiefer Sutherland because I... <laughs> I thought you were going to say Colin Farrell. No, I'm a strange person. <laughs> oh, and, <laughs> and Colin Farrell is the I was a young woman with a crush on Kiefer Sutherland. And I watched Phone Booth five million times. It was free on TV. I also watched Black Hawk Down a lot. Didn't have a crush on anyone. It was just free on TV. Yeah. He directed Lost Boys too, right? Yes. Schumacher? Yeah. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Well. Also keep yourself a little I don't know. Game recognized game, I guess. I, I put Lost Boys on to go to sleep the other night and didn't watch any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say I put Lost Boys to go to sleep and, and I fucking didn't go to sleep because I watched yeah. Lost Boys because yeah. it's an awesome movie. <laughs> yeah, I went the other way. Um, 